Buildings were starting to grow so fast and so tall that people were starting to feel the effects of sway. So think about it if you're in a very long rise from the ground floor up to the top floor in a 30-story building, for example. Uh, by the time you got up, if you were on you know, one of the uh, express rides, you would start to feel the sway in the elevator. And people were getting very uncomfortable with it. So Otis conducted a study with psychiatrists and psychologists and tried to come up with ways to ease their fears or make them more comfortable. We contracted with the Muzak company to start uh, injecting music into the elevator cab. So the music would take people's minds off the sway. Uh, and it worked. It was very successful. The first installation was in the Palmolive building in Chicago in 1948. Chicago being the Windy City, they had a lot of sway issues and they found that it was very successful. So Otis wound up making receiver transmitter units that they could attach to an elevator cab and then they would inject the music into the elevator that way. Elevator music was born.